Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. Gas prices are going down tomorrow for a second consecutive week. A litre of 87 gasoline will cost 70 cents less. 71 cents will be shaved off the price of 90 gasoline. Now automotive diesel will sell for 50 cents less. The cost of ultra-low sulfur diesel will lose 25 cents. Kerosene will however gain 99 cents. Propane and butane will increase by $2.73 and $3.06 respectively. Meanwhile, crude prices on the global market fell for a fifth consecutive, well, for a fifth day today, as investors remain worried about the outlook for fuel demand as COVID-19 cases surge worldwide. Now, Brent crude ended down 80 cents, settling at $68.23 a barrel. Authorized dealers are selling the U.S. dollar for an average $155.03. The Canadian dollar is trading at $123.17. It's costing $213.19 for the pound and $183.13 for the euro. Palace Amusement has registered another financial loss, another year of financial losses. Now, while Kingston Wharves and Wigton Wind Farm managed to make profit up to June, here's Devon Keys with a look at those results. Movie theater operators Palace Amusement has ended another financial year registering a loss. In its unaudited results, the company reported a loss of $272.8 million. That's significantly higher than the $85.1 million loss at the 12 months ended June 2020. Palace Amusement also saw diminished revenues for the year. The company earned $95 million compared to $771 million at the end of June 2020. Palace continued is to reel from the impact of COVID-19, which caused the closure of some outlets and reduced hours. Kingston Wharves Limited mid-year results show a 22% improvement in net profit. For the six months to June, net profit amounted to $1.3 billion, up from the $1.1 billion last year. Revenues were up 17% at $4 billion. And Wigton Wind Farm Limited suffered a 53% drop in profit for the April to June quarter. The company's profit was $136 million, compared to $300.7 million a year ago. Wigton says the decline was due to lower wind energy energy production. The company linked this to a lower wind regime from changes in the weather pattern. A decline in equipment availability due to major maintenance on five turbines in the quarter also resulted in reduced earnings. Wigton's April to June revenue amounted to $669.6 million, a $150 million decline over last year. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes. Finally, the JC main index declined by 308 points today, while the Gina market index slipped by 62 points. Today's winners include MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, GMMB Group, Fesco, 1834 Investments, and Jamaica Producers. On the losing side were Iron Rock Insurance, Paramount Trading, SSL Venture Capital, Express Catering, and Margaritaville Turks. And that's the Business Day. I'm Bashan Brown. Have a good evening.